Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I think by now we all know that there's no better way that you can spend under £20 on a watch without buying a Casio. You may have seen my earlier video on the W218H. Absolutely adored it. It was a cheaper G-Shock to me. Uh, it had all the functions that I could ask for at about £17.50. I thought it hit every spec it could for that price. Casio have a good range around that price. Watches that look a lot like their more expensive G-Shocks, but a little bit more watered down and very, very cheap. And today I have another one of them for you. Today I'm reviewing the Casio W214H, which I think is just a really budget version of the G-Shock DW6900. So guys, I'm Jason. I'm your watch guy and I'm sure you want to hear more about this watch. Let's get into the review. So this is the Casio W214H. You may have seen me unbox this in an earlier video. Uh, it cost me £16.99 from Amazon, free shipping. And at that price, I just thought, you know what, I could never do with too many watches that I use when I go running. I already used the Casio W218. I thought this would make a nice change. It's very colourful as you can see with this orange colourway and it's, it's something a little bit different I think. Definitely a different type of face to it and a different type of look to it. I do like to diversify my watch collection quite a bit just so I've always got something different to wear. So let's get into the specifications of this watch. So the watch itself is around 35mm in diameter, quite a small watch on wrist, it conforms to your wrist quite well, it is very wearable with the resin band, as you know with most Casios they have these little shoulders, which really does help with how comfortable the watch wears. It's quite a thin case, obviously this is a quartz module so you don't really need that much space in there, and it sits quite flat on your wrist to be quite fair. So we have a 12 hour LCD display, we have a day date and month function up at the top level here. This watch also comes with a alarm function, set that to any point in the day, PM or AM and that will go off for you. Uh, you also have the hour alarm function here and you can choose to turn both of them off also as we could in the uh, 218. Also comes with the stopwatch feature that you would expect in these Casios. Just reset that there. One thing that this watch offers that the 218 doesn't is a countdown timer. So as you can see there, this will go from 1 to 3 to 5 to 10, 15, 20 or 30 minutes. You have an option of any of those functions this will tick down and will obviously give you an alarm once that time is met. I'll just leave this one minute marker on here so you can see what I mean. And there's the alarm going off for you. Nice and loud. I usually use that for when I'm cooking something and I need to remember when to take it out of the oven. So. The casing itself is a mixture between a type of resin and plastic. It has three different function buttons. We have the start stop or forward button. We have the mode button, the reset button or the countdown timer button. We also have an LED backlight. You can see there. It's not the brightest but it fulfills the function. This is a 50 meter water resistant watch. To me, Casio quite trustworthy with their water resistance. I would be quite happy to wash the dishes with this, maybe take a shower. I like these little screw features that the casing has around the corners. I think that adds a little bit of depth to the uh, feel of the watch. One thing that I do really like about the design is the orange accents on the functions. These are just uh, second counters. But I really like how that's laid out and how it's uh, accented in the orange, which brings together the entire watch, in my opinion. We obviously have the illuminator printed at the top here. And the resin strap, as you would expect on most of these Casios. It's uh, 
wearability, it's quite good. I mean, I wear this when I go running or I go to the gym. I think for what I've paid for it, I'm quite happy with the band. It's not going to be the most comfortable in the world, but at the same time, it is what you pay for. I do like that they've accented this as a black buckle. That adds to the design also. Now to me, this really does stand out as a stripped down DW6900. I think it has the same type of feel to it as the W218 does to the square face G-Shocks. I do like that it has a countdown timer built into it. You don't get that with the W218, so that's obviously an added function or benefit to buying this one instead. I think this would make the perfect beta watch or perfect sports watch for someone who doesn't want to wear one of the more expensive pieces in their collection or just needs something for while they're out on a run or in the gym. So in terms of the downsides to this watch, there really aren't many. It's packed with features. It has a certain look to it that stands out. Obviously a sports watch, it does everything that you're going to need it to do in that functionality. And it does resemble a watered down DW6900, which for the price of it, I don't see that as a bad thing. Coming in at £16.99, I think that's a perfect way to avoid buying a G-Shock and saving a bit of money. There is a but. Now when I unboxed this watch, I didn't really get that feeling of excitement and joy that I did get from the W218. Now I'm comparing this one because they're in the same type of price category. I think the legibility of the W218 is much better. The numbers on the module are much more pronounced and you can see a lot more on it. I think it's a lot more rugged. I think it has a much more manly vibe to it. And I think given the choice of the two, it has to go to the W218 every time. I mean, maybe you feel a bit differently. Let me know in the comments section below. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But for me, this is still my king of the Casios. So guys, that is my review of the Casio W214. A lovely watch, does what it's meant to do and comes in at a brilliant price of $16.99. But for me, it just doesn't outshine the 218. I think this is still where you go and spend your money when you need a beta digital sports watch. I just think this outdoes the 214. It may not have all the same functions, but it is much more rugged and much more of a manly looking watch. Now guys, if you'd like to see more of these Casio reviews, please do let me know which ones you'd like to see in the comments. Also, if you'd like me to compare them to their Big Brother G-Shock models, please let me know. I'll try and get some of them in also. Please do subscribe to the channel. I will have more videos just like this one and others coming out very soon. Thank you for watching this, guys. I will see you next time.